So I've heard a little bit about a reverse 1031 exchange. Just give us a 30-second overview of what that is. Yeah, that, that would definitely be an overview, 30 seconds. That's a very complex exchange. It's where a client has to buy a property first and physically close escrow on a replacement property before they have a chance to sell. Right, So they stumble upon a property, they write an offer, they agree to terms, but then the seller says, hey, I'm not going to give you time to list and sell your property. So you either buy it from me now or get out of my way. It's called a reverse exchange. Very complex because we have to physically park title to one of the properties, which we don't do in a regular delayed exchange. And then we're leasing the property back to the client while we're on title. There's just a lot of intricacies to it. There's also a lot more expensive of a cost because you're probably talking about five to $6,000 in additional costs in a reverse exchange. But if it's the only route, you know, if it's the only way you can buy the property and you're deferring $200,000 of gain, okay, you know, the expense makes sense. No right or wrong, just know that it's an option. So if your clients are forced into a buying a property first, have them give me a call so we can talk about their options. Okay.